Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to answer one of the most asked questions recently. That is whether CSI and NET have changed the question pattern. CSI and NET have changed the question pattern or not. If you want to know the answer to that, I'll give you one simple answer, then one long answer. The simple answer, uh, yes or no, very small, 10 to, to 15% I can say which is negligible the change is negligible in the majority of the scale the question paper has not changed at all and now i'll explain why okay now if you wanted to know why i am saying this let me explain because many students and many many also many uh, of the uh, teachers are also stating the same thing that the csi net question pattern have changed see the question pattern has not changed in uh, in majority of the scale why let me give you a simple idea See, in CSI net, there are two types of questions. One is the memory-based question, that is part B questions, okay? Simple, straightforward, memory-based questions. Either you know the answer or you don't know the answer. You cannot beat around the bush to get the answer, right? So, that's it. So, those kind of questions in part B remained as it is. There is no change over that. In part C, earlier the question pattern was supposed to be more conceptual in nature. So, more analytical in nature, right? And earlier, 90% of the part C questions have this conceptual elements in it. Now, when I say 10 to 15% change, the change happened in both part B and part C. Less in part B, more in part C. What is that? In part B, there are direct questions, but also there are some small sum summation type problems particularly from unit like unit 1 biochemistry right then unit 8 genetics then unit 11 hardy weinberg part from those portions they can ask you simple small short sum mathematical type question even from unit 2 unit 3 and unit 6 they can ask you very small sum type questions so again <clears throat> this is something which is kind of preserved in part b but now let's talk about part c that is for analytical and conceptual part. For analytical and conceptual part, earlier the question, so in this part C, the questions are three different types. One is, uh, they'll give a big statement, then there are small one line options. Second type of question, small statement, small uh, information, then four bigger statements, and there are combination of those statements to get the correct or wrong answers. And the third type are column, and you want to, uh, they want you to match the column. These are the three majority type of questions that you will be seeing in part C of the CSI net life science question paper. Now in these three sections, the column type of questions always demand your memory skills. For example, if they give you the list of nitrogen fixers, right? And their example, so nitrogen fixation, nitrogen denitrification, and also let's say, uh, so, or, or simply say nitrogen fixation, denitrification, nitrification, and there are four different examples of bacteria involved in all this process, or organisms involved in this process, and they want you to match the column. For that, you need to know the exact memory-based thing, right? Whether uh, the bacteria X is related to nitrification, Y related to denitrification, like that. Otherwise, you cannot answer. So, this is the part C question, requires your memory. So there are part C question requires memory only. There are part C questions require concept only. There are part C question requires memory and concept together, right? So for a conceptual question, they can ask you a conceptual question from a biochemistry perspective, right? Uh, giving you the number of uh, glucose present in the uh, glycogen and then stated how many cycle of the reaction with a specific enzyme is done with the glycogen breakdown and they want you to get uh, the number of fragment of single glucose molecule that you'll prepare or get. So that is uh, entirely conceptual question, for example. So that conceptual question you'll get, that is 100% conceptual. There is no way to interfere with your memory, right? Yeah, memory is involved in the name of the enzyme. You need to remember whether it's involved in the glycogen metabolism or not, glycogen breakdown or not, and whether the glycogen breakdown gives you one glucose uh, one phosphate or glucose six phosphate or multiple glucose one phosphate or multiple glucose six phosphate that is memory but mostly it's conceptual the process you need to visualize in order to answer that that's a conceptual question and there are also questions where you need concept as well as your memory just like this one so this is something that is present in part c now what we have seen uh, for the past few question papers is that particularly the past four papers because past four post covid papers if you if you talk about because in post covid 
the examination is being conducted uh, only like uh, two set of papers and even before uh, covid also one two set of paper was there so total two set of papers and whenever they start forming two set of papers and maybe in future if they are combining two years examination two two consecutive examination they may need to involve with three set of papers so the more questions will be there and more papers they need to form the exact construct or, or, or format they want to maintain they will be moving away from it why because in csr net question setting if you know how the questions are set the question setters are there in a room and they discuss about the question that they submit their own questions and then they submit obviously more number of question that a question paper should carry and they generally give it 4x 5x number of questions so among this 4x 5x earlier they give 2 to 3x so only one paper need to be made and if somehow that paper is leaked or destroyed they should have enough number of question to construct a new paper the same thing goes right now with 4x 5x number of question or even more than that so collection of the question will give you two set of papers and they still have some questions in reserve so while they are combining the new question that is done by software that is done by algorithm so that is something done by the software as now so the question setters don't exactly know exactly which question will come they know which topic they have asked questions from that is their expertise field but they don't know exactly which question is added or which question is going to be added to uh, remove that human bias uh, they have set this particular rule so what happened is that from that time point when they make multiple question multiple set of question papers the exact uh, construct of the question is not maintained earlier the construct of the question is very simple very straight forward they kind of ask equal number of question from the heavyweight topics like unit 1 unit 3 uh, unit 4 5 6 8 10 uh, 13 but nowadays you can see when you attend a question paper of csn it from start to the end you'll find that some paper has more question from one unit so you need biasness is something that you can observe and that we have observed uh more in these days papers compared to the earlier time so you need biasness is something that is being added now second thing is regarding the pattern of the question earlier part c were more concerned about the concepts but now we are seeing concept plus memory both are equally important to answer part c questions so that's why students are finding it extremely difficult sometimes to answer part c questions because with only concepts you cannot answer if you forget something and with only memory you cannot answer without concepts so you need to have concepts you need to have information carrying in your brain to get answer to a question in part c that's why many students find it difficult answering part c question in recent 2 3 csn net examinations before that there are straight forward rule and why students think the question paper is change a lot though it's not because when they attend the question in the online cbt mode the questions are shuffled so when the questions are shuffled you cannot get an idea about the questions unit from where there's being asked particularly during the time of exam because you are occupied with so much thinking and thought process in the examination hall so earlier what was there is in paper you know that from 71 to 76 78 will be uh, unit 1 question then 79 to uh, 82 that is you need two questions so people know what uh, was the number and what was the type of questions from in the, this number uh, frame it was easy but now it was not that easy because the questions will be shuffled so you start with a question that is 71 the first question in part c that is from unit 1 it's fine from biochemistry then you click the next question the next question may be from cell biology the next question may be from applied biology the next question may be from developmental biology so like that the questions are shuffled so when a student is not preparing for a topic so say you haven't prepared developmental biology very well and if developmental biology question showed up two to three times repeatedly you'll have an impression that the whole paper is biased towards development biology and that is what exactly happened because now you have the offline papers you just download the paper you paste the paper you find out the number of question from every single unit you'll not find any uh, unit have been taken to ask more than seven eight questions you will never find it you cannot give me a unit where there was more than 10 questions not possible it's not possible because that's not done in their software system it's not possible got it so that sense is there that if i'm not prepared with this unit 5 and two three question consecutively shown for that unit we thought that that unit is everywhere the question from that unit is everywhere so students say that this question paper is totally biased for unit 5 totally biased for developmental biology and and if a person is well prepared for it will never feel like that
they say that fine i prepared unit 5 well i answered all the questions so it's better for me right that's how it happens with every single unit so unit if you're not prepared well enough if they ask you two three questions consecutively it gives you a false sense that the question is biased towards that in which is not the case believe me you can prove me wrong you can check the question don't believe me don't believe everyone don't believe anyone saying regarding change in question just get the questions in your hand and compare the three years ago the question three years ago let's say 17 18 2017-18 question paper and get 2022 paper 2021 paper you put it and try to see the difference first find out the question from different units see the number of question asked from different units then see and read individual questions what i told you that the questions now require both concept as well as memory memory factor is added to answer questions in part c which were kind of missing in the earlier question that's why i said the change is only 10 to 15 percent not more than that that's my take on change in question paper pattern in cs and examination and i want to hear your side of point too but again do not comment without testing yourself do not believe anyone go through the different question papers yourself that is a homework if you do that it helps your understanding of the question pattern and that's obviously could be beneficial for you take one week study the question paper come back watch the video put it in the comment and i want to see whether you got it correctly or not so that's all about it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and if you wish to have a help from Shomu's Biology to get into doing PhD, to get into qualify CSI net. We run a coaching, we run study material services. You can get that, you can procure that. The details are in the description as well as in the video. Thank you everyone. Bye.